Hello again YouTube and I'm back with another uh, video here and in this particular video um, I'm going to be talking about uh, battery bank safety and a special shout out to um, DIY Tesla, uh, Tesla Powerwall uh, for all or Tesla Power for all or something like that. Um, I apologize if I got his YouTube channel wrong but I'll put it in a link uh, in the video description uh, because uh, he kind of brought this to my attention. Uh, that my battery bank, you know, for safety sake, um, you know, it's better to incorporate some fuses in addition to the circuit protection, the circuit breakers that you have, uh, that kind of give you a, you know, a better, um, you know, overall protection of your system. And, you know, at first I didn't understand what he was talking about or where it was coming from because, you know, like most people, I believe, um, we, we assume that if we've got adequate circuit breakers, you know, um, you know, throughout our system, you know, it should protect us. However, he sent me a video link, and I actually took the time to watch it, and it made it made a lot of sense. And from a safety perspective, you know, I'm not going to take any chances, you know, with my family and my home and stuff like that. And so, uh, essentially, I went out and I bought it, and this is how I have it mounted. Um, and you know, you can see it right there. And this is the fuse itself. This is the fuse. And if this thing blows, it's in series, so the entire battery bank goes down. There is the circuit is broken essentially. And not only that, but I also have one here. Uh, so if that particular fuse goes, if it goes uh, or if it blows, uh, then the the circuit is broken. Uh, so you know the battery bank is essentially dead at that point. And uh, so you sacrifice the fuse so that you can protect your investment and your home. So I have a fuse, uh, two fuses, and circuit breakers throughout my system. So I think that should be adequate protection. Now to kind of give you an idea of exactly what I have, um, this is the fuse. You know, just to kind of out angle it because the light is kind of shining on it. So essentially, it is a uh, fuse from Blue Sea Systems. It is a Class T fuse, and these are the specs on it. Uh, and this is a, this is what it looks like, you know, in relation to my hand. You know, it's a really really heavy duty fuse, and um, you know I got a couple of terminal blocks to to, to install it, but I don't didn't need a terminal block for this one. I just kind of just connected it up uh, to the terminal itself and to the four four out wire, and uh, this is the terminal block here. I had to kind of modify those um, these brackets here. With, you know, cut them and kind of grinded them down so that it would fit in accordance with what I needed. But anyway, this is it. And again, a special shout out uh, to DIY Tesla uh, Powerwall. And um, and again, I put a link. And I would really, really encourage you to take a look at that video. It was really an eye opener for me. And for you know, hey, to spend a little extra money for increased safety, um, hey, <laughs> that was not a question for me. So anyway, just wanted to kind of give a shout out and, uh, you know, first bring it up to people's attention about battery safety and adding a fuse in line uh, with your battery bank to uh, essentially protect, you know, your battery bank and your investment. Okay, take care, you two.